no, no. You, you, you don't want to tell it, man. Why not? Because you ain't got a job. Nah, you, you don't want to tell a woman, a black woman, especially a black woman, that you ain't got a J-O-B. Let's look at obsessive compulsive personality disorder. This disorder is characterized by extreme perfectionism and the severe need to impose one's own standards on everybody else. Thing is, people with this disorder, they have no idea that there's anything wrong with the way they're thinking. They believe that their way is the correct way and everybody else is wrong. This is Community Activate Mental Cinemas. Welcome. In this series, I'm going to attempt to match fictional characters with very real mental conditions. The mission is not to exploit the afflicted, but to bring a level of awareness, understanding, and compassion, and to open a conversation on black mental wellness in our community. In this episode, we're looking at the 1997 film Soul Food, and the character is Vanessa Williams' character, Terry. Terry, why you always gotta let everybody know you pay for everything? Yes, I do. Here's five signs that Terry had obsessive compulsive personality disorder. She was extremely frugal with money. You could make twice the amount of money if you spend more time on your job and quit this music crap. If I want to take $5,000 of my money out of the bank, I'll do it. Only 31,132 are yours. Tomorrow, we're getting separate accounts. Wow, she knew out to the dollar how much money was his and how much money was hers. I didn't put the family clips down because sometimes family can kind of tap your pockets and I can respect that. But here, this is your husband, who you're supposed to be building together with, not necessarily keeping score, but she definitely kept score. She had a sense of righteousness. Max, surely you don't expect to have Sunday dinner tomorrow. Why not? Jesus, Max, mama is in a coma. Oh, baby, maybe we should... No, 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 no. I'm not going to let her ruin a 40-year family tradition. Tradition? Yes, tradition. Don't you tell me about tradition. I am the oldest one. I am the responsible one. I'm the one who graduated from law school. You're the one that dropped out when you were 19. Wow, that escalated quickly. Look, all they wanted to do was have a family dinner and continue the family tradition. But Terry didn't see things like that. And as soon as she was faced with a little bit of pushback, she couldn't take it and she resorted to personal attacks. She was excessively devoted to work. Um, I also can't go to see you um, perform tonight. Well, that's what you said last week and the week before. I'd really like you, you know, to I'm come tonight. You know, I'm swamped with work. Here, we see Terry's husband. He's a musician. Week after week, he's asking her to come see him perform. But week after week, he gets shut down. Why? Because she says she has to work. She's allowing work to take over her life and ruin her marriage. She had an extremely rigid personality. You find a job yet? Nope. But I have an audition coming up. I'm just not into the straight job thing. Straight job thing. Cousin Faith, she's a, she's a free spirit. The exact type of person that someone with this disorder doesn't respect. Kind of like her husband. He wants to quit his job to pursue his music career, but she doesn't respect that. She wants you to make money the traditional way, a nine to five. She had an inability to work with others. So I went to Kenny's lawyer and I drew up a motion to cease and desist. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry too. Well, Terry, don't leave. Nobody wanted to sell the house except Terry. So Terry put it up for sale. They tried to speak to her, but she wasn't trying to listen. So they had to go the legal route, which they didn't really want to do. When they tell her that they went the legal route, she was highly offended and it was no more talking. This disorder can be caused by early family conflict. Kenny! Mom stole dad right out from underneath Aunt Terry's nose. 
Cherry. Honey, too? Look, Haven't gotten a long Cherry. sense. Cherry. Get the hell out of the car! Cherry. Get out of the car now! Get out of the car right now! Little Man believes that this is the origin of all of the conflict between Terry and his mom. And he might be right. Sometimes something like this can happen early on and a person can hold on to those negative feelings forever. Complications of obsessive compulsive personality disorder include some of the following. Relationship difficulties, social isolation, anxiety, and depression. They say an obsession is a way for damaged people to damage themselves even further. I believe in live and let live. You're only in control of your own actions anyway. What do you think? Did Terry have obsessive compulsive personality disorder? Or was she just a concerned big sister taking on more than she should have? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Diagnose Terry. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe for more like it. We'll be posting a new one every Sunday evening. Thanks for watching. This is Keno from Community Activate Mental Cinemas. Be well.